So they've apparently, when they got to this phone um, this morning between 5.17 a.m. and, well, about 5.30 this morning and 9 a.m., um, and they got to this phone, they apparently figured out a way, again, to mess with my storage um, because I literally had less than 22 minutes of video recording and two pictures on this brand new phone with 16 gigabytes of abilities to have storage and it froze up and said that I couldn't record, I couldn't do anything on it because I had no storage. So, I mean, what I try to do is pretty much delete as soon as I upload um, that's how I've dealt with it. Um, what they did to the other phone was just make it so I couldn't upload at all. Um, now that's back working now that I bought another phone. Um, if they mess with this phone too much in the next day or so, I'll just take it back and say it's not functioning. Um, cause it's not. <laughs> so, because when you go to these places and you're like, yeah, this, you know, how can I protect it? Oh, these things can't get hacked. That's really hard. It's like, no, it's not, especially when they can actually put their hands on it, you know, just like they can put their hands on me, which is what they're trying to do. You can really sense tonight this really persistent need to want to knock me out and traffic me and have multitudes of people come in and rape me, especially my other neighbor. Like I literally pointed my finger at him and then made the like sign of like boofing, like putting your finger through a circle and was like mouthing the word rapist and and immediately they turned off their lights it was like they were looking right at me isn't that strange because it's not like i'm that close you know what i mean but yeah and so because that literally that guy's in that house right now waiting for a text a phone call a signal a call anything that'll tell him yep she's ready she's unconscious you can come over now you can sodomize and rape this woman again for the probably I'm guessing he's done it at least a hundred times since I've been living here so people go to prison for decades based on that <laughs> on that amount of raping um so the fact that the LAPD won't even go and talk to this person I'm guessing that guy has a rape record a sex assault record like he is so into this I've heard him on the audio when I get up in the morning and I know he's raped me and sodomized me he's laughing and joyful and you know boastful and I mean he he can't help himself he wants me to hear it he wants me to know you know you know doesn't impress me um sickens me of course and that's the point he he wants me to you know, understand that he got to do what he wanted to do. Um, it's strange to me. I mean, you know, but these are rapists, I guess, you know, just given the opportunity, they'll keep raping. Um, and they keep being given the opportunity by the Los Angeles Police Department, Van Nuys, uh, specifically Detective Briscoe, that will refuse to apparently investigate anything that I'm saying without any cause to say that I'm lying or anything. No proof whatsoever that I'm crazy or anything like that. Yet he's refusing to even go talk to these people. And if he did, I'd like to know. And I'd like to hear and like to see those interviews and like to know what these people said about me being raped by them and who they are and if they have records. Um, I would think that they would be interested in helping a victim. But no, they seem to be more interested in helping sex traffickers. It is insane and it's sick. And it's really sad for the state of Los Angeles that the sex detectives are actually willing to help sex traffic a woman every night. But that's what's happening right now. They're trying. They were hoping they, you know, it's been less time.